Alright guys, please don't hate me, but it looks like I will not be getting God War Ascension until late next week, if everything plans out. So again, I got some old footage here, I just had to, you know, search and find, and just talk to you guys about um, God of War Ascension, and sort of like what it means to me, the whole God of War franchise, and actually trying to help you, some of you guys, with uh, your financial situations in video games. So first off, again, people don't hate me, um, but I am just not really that big of a God of War fan. However, again, don't hate me, I, I recognize what good it is towards the gaming industry and what it's done for the PlayStation brand. I mean, if any game comes out on the, you know, the last gen system when the next gen system is out, that's major props right there to the developers and, you know, the vision they have. Major, major props. So, I guess in a nutshell, it is, um, myself not getting God of War Ascension right away isn't truly a big deal to me, although I imagine, you know, some of you were wanting, you know, the first 20 minutes or something or my opinions on it, so I'm sorry on that regard, but, uh, just, uh, let's go into how I normally get my, uh, video games. So, this is the standard process for how I, uh, get my video games. First off, I, as much as I hate to say this, I adore, I guess is the right word to say, Blockbuster, because they sort of have a program just like Gamefly, except it's a dollar cheaper and more accessible. Now, I had Gamefly for, I think, like two separate times for about a year and a half each or something like that, and I, it's a good service, it's just that you don't always get the games you want. And it sometimes shipping can be a real, real hassle, and that really turned me off to GameFly. So at that point, it was just like, ah, oh, whatever. I'll just buy games and resell them, and that's in another video in itself. But now it came to Blockbuster. Blockbuster has a, a, a like a one, like a month pass thing, where you pay fifteen-ish uh, dollars for you know unlimited rentals, one thing out uh, at a time, game, movie, whatever. And the good thing with my situation is uh, the town my college is in has a blockbuster that gets all the titles, but it, it, the people here, I guess, aren't gamers as much. So I always have the, you know, a uh, pick of the crop, and it just really usually works out for me, except for this one time. Because apparently... They had only one copy coming in, and someone pre-ordered that. And I'm like, who pre-orders a game from Blockbuster? You do that from uh, GameStop, Walmart, Amazon, Target, Best Buy, and you don't do that at a Blockbuster. So I was sort of blown away at that, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I'm not going to get God of War Ascension this time, because as some of you saw in my last video, I have my own place now, and money isn't exactly scarce, but I'm trying to waste as little of it as possible right now. So... That is why I'm not getting God of War Ascension at the moment, but I don't care what happens to me when Bioshock Infinite comes out, but I am getting that. Whether I have to rent it or buy it, I will be getting that. It's probably going to be, I can safely say right now, it's probably definitely going to be on my Game of the Year list. I'm not a winner, not sure yet, but I can almost guarantee, can't wait for it. So again, everyone, please don't hate me. I'm not that much of a God of War fan, but I know what good it does for the industry. And I'm not getting it till late next week, hopefully. And also, also, if you are trying to save money on video games, try Blockbuster or see if there's one near you because they have a good deal on their whole month pass thing. So thank you everyone for watching and uh, hope you enjoy this random Spider-Man old swinging footage.